Mr. Williams is back with another reaction, El Camino. So it's been a long time coming, y'all. Now, before we get started, if y'all hear some barking in the background, my dog's out there playing and shit, you know what I'm saying? So they're going to be barking, whatever. Anyway, what's up, y'all? How y'all been doing? Now, before I get started, I want to give a big shout out to Vince Gilligan. The guy is a fucking genius. He's a fucking genius. You know what I'm saying? Giving us so much fucking great content. Continuing on with El Camino. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to know what the fuck happened to Jesse when he got loose. And 
I mean, I don't have the words to describe how of a motherfucking visionary this guy is. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what he is, a fucking visionary, man. Anyway, y'all, this has been a long time coming. Um, El Camino. Then after that, Better Call Saw. That's what y'all really want. Better Call Saw. And you know I'm going to bring it to you. Right after El Camino. Anyway, y'all, um, Walter White saved Jesse from the Nazis. He bust Jack in the head. The same way he killed Hank. Um, Walt died in the um, in the lab. The same way he was laying in that attic. Remember, he was looking for the money and he was yelling at Skylar. Then he was like, when he found out that you know what I'm saying she gave the money to Ted, and he was just laughing and laying in that motherfucker like that. He died the same way, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm excited for this shit. I know y'all excited for this shit. And we ain't gonna waste no motherfucking time. Oh yeah, check this out. There's gonna be an unboxing after this shit. Okay? It's gonna be an unboxing. Alright? So y'all stay tuned for that shit. And this is gonna be a two-part. Because this is like a fucking movie. This is like, it ain't like a regular Breaking Bad episode. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, a fuck. well, it is a fucking movie. All right, so I had to chop this shit up in two parts, all right? So it's going to be two parts, just to let y'all know, okay? It's not going to be the whole thing. I don't want, you know, a fucking two-hour fucking video. You know what I'm saying? So I had to chop this shit up, all right? I love y'all. El Camino is here. Mr. Williams is here. I love y'all. Let's get started. Okay, y'all, before we get started, you know I got to have me a drink. Let's do this. El Camino. He's not going to be happy. No, I suspect he won't. Only you can decide what's best for you, Jesse. Mike! Not him, not me. Oh. No. This is... So what are you going to do with all that money? This is so fucking great. Same thing I do with all the other money. How about you? Teenage retiree, maybe living the dream. <laughs> Not sure I should stick around town. Oh, that's a start. Nothing really keeping me here. When did they? Know? When did they have this talk? Hear me. It doesn't matter. I'm not you. Seriously, come on. Like if you were my age, just play along. Make some conversation. Alaska. Yeah? Yeah, if I were your age, starting fresh. Alaska. Alaska. So that's where he got that Alaska from. Okay, you could be anything you want. Alaska. Start over. Start fresh. One could. Put things right. No. Sorry, kid. That's the one thing you can never do. R.I.P. Mike, man. Are we starting off where we left off at? Fuck? <laughs> Dude, you suck. 
Seems like defective and shit. Badger and you know, Skinny P! It's a bad carpenter that blames his hammer, you Whatever. You're apexing too early. You're apexing too early. I'm apexing at the apex, bitch. Don't be telling me how to drive and shit. You couldn't drive a two button elevator. I you fucking love these guys. Whatever that means. You couldn't drive a short bus full of slow kids to the zoo. Yeah, because I'd be too distracted by you. You'd be sitting up front in your special helmet, trying to hump my leg. On account you couldn't. I used to hate these guys. But that cliff. Jess is not a bad dude. He just get, he just keep getting the shit in the deal. You know, he's not a bad dude. But this guy here, his homeboy, this is a goddamn fuck boy. I mean, he made Jesse look like fucking Albert Einstein. Look at this fucking dipshit. Look, man, y'all got homeboys like that y'all hang around. Find y'all some new goddamn friends. Apex! I can't apex more than I'm already apexing. You drive like a blind guy with no legs. Dude, you, you drive like my dead grandmoms. That's disrespectful. Jesse's out there. Lost? Damn, he don't even recognize him. He don't even recognize him. Jesse? That's your dog, man. Who is it? That's your dog. I gotta get that car off the street. <laughs> Yo, dude, hungry, man. Man, go get in the tub, man. Or I would just say fuck that. All the shit he been through. To best of my knowledge, it was an M16 machine gun, which that's that strictly military issue weapon. As to where he could have obtained such a weapon or the so-called uh, remote control aspect of it, anything I could say at this point would just be conjecture. I'm not going to engage in that. Where did the yes. I'm not prepared at this time to say any more than that they're a person of interest and they may have information relevant to this case or other cases the DEA is investigating. I know damn well they didn't turn turn them in. My heart would be crushed. I finally started liking them dudes. He spares it out. He spares it out. Whoa, 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 they fucked him up. My stuff's gonna fit you like a T, yo. Not like if you had to borrow it from Sasquatch over here. You can't help it that I'm size for love. Yeah, you go love all the giraffes you want, bitch. Me and Jesse are sticking with the ladies. Yeah, this here's barely worn. How's this working for you? Good? Jesse? Man, get in the tub for her, dog. Get you some new clothes then. Shower make you feel a whole lot better. Damn right. Truth be told, you look like you're hurting for one. Church. Church. Yeah. Friends. Got you a clean towel, the one on the right. Uh, kind of. And um, feel free to open up a new bar of Irish Spring, whatever. It's underneath, you know, because the old one might have, like, hairs on it and shit. And, uh, uh, yo, I got... Axe body spray. I got obsession for men. I got Tommy Hilfinger. Feel free to use any of them you want. You know, use them all. Obsession's the bomb, yo. Got it for him for Christmas. Oh, uh, hey, um, maybe don't like shave and whatnot. You know, uh, be less recognizable. What? 
barely keep track, Tage. Ah, damn. Damn. Damn, they tortured the fuck out of him. Those Nazi piece of shit. What the fuck? Jesse motherfucking pick me. Put a little something to take the edge off. How'd you uh, turn off the TV? News that bad? There's just uh, a whole lot of it. Yeah. We gotta get out of here. Where to? You got a plan? Maybe. Yeah, he all on the damn news. Go for Joe. Hey, that's the damn, uh, the, uh, junkyard man, the man. Yeah, I know who this is. At this point, who doesn't? Where's the victim? Uh, it's in the back. Look, thank you so much for doing this, Joe. It's not about the money if we can make it. It's on the house. Good kid. You stick it through. Watch it, bitch. You gentlemen threw me plenty of business back in the day. I got no complaints in that department. Magnets! Yeah? That was a good one. So, frankly, you know... Madness, you bitch! I had zero confidence that that would work. None whatsoever, but hey, live and learn. So, what are you doing? Write myself a little insurance policy. You know, strictly precautionary. Belt and suspenders. Okay. All right, mind at ease. I think we're good. Whoa. What the fuck? What the fuck? What are you doing? And I suggest you do the same. The tracking. Oh, Jack. Company just activated. Just this minute. Talk about training. Look, God damn. Way, as in here, as in now. So farewell, goodbye. Oh my rest, fucking God. The goddamn cops on a goddamn way. They need to get the fuck out of there. Oh my god. Now Skinny P and Badger involved. Well, they always been involved. Sorry. He's got the keys to that car. Keys! No. No, what are you doing? We gotta get this thing out of here. Badger, give me the keys to your Fiero. Why? Hey, you take my car. I don't even like your car. It drives like a dick. Badger drives my T-Bird two, three hundred miles away and ditches it. Think you'd be heading to Mexico? No, not Mexico. Right on, even better. Leave it near the border. Hide it, kind of, but yo, don't hide it so good the cops can't find it. Wipe it down for prints and hitchhike back. Do not let nobody see you in that car. You take Badger's Fiero. What about this car? It stays right here. Ain't like the cops don't already know where it is. I'll tell them you drop by, the two of us smoked a fat bowl, traded pink slips, then you split. I always wanted me an El Camino. And that's church, yo. I'll pass any lie detector they give me. It's what's happening. You got any cash? Yo, 
Yo, kick in, bitch. I'm doing it, Jesus. Guys, I don't know what to say. Don't say nothing. Just go. We've got about three hours to get this thing down south. I'll keep my mouth shut till then, but after that, they're gonna be putting the APB out on this bitch. I'll get her there. Take care of the Jesse. She's a special lady. That right there is a clown call. No self-respecting outlaw would ever get caught dead in that thing. That's why it's perfect, yo. In cover. I come to you, sir. Hold up. What the fuck? Just like keep you from getting spotted. Can't hurt, right? He took his fucking head off. You're a skinny. Why are you doing all this? Doing this. You're my hero and shit. Yo. Let me say something else that's church. When I first met skinny p and badger if anybody seen my breaking bad reactions when i first met them i thought they were some straight fucking clown fuck boys i couldn't stand them motherfuckers man i thought like combo colombo the bald head dude with the mohawk i thought he was like the coolest one man i couldn't be no fucking wrong than ever these motherfuckers are some real motherfucking dogs, man. Real motherfucking dogs. And I'm talking church, man. This deep skinny P and Badger. Look, if you got some homeboys like skinny P and Badger, you are one lucky motherfucker in 2021. You are one lucky motherfucker. Because there is no homeboys like that at least where I'm from that exists I can count on one fucking hand and two fingers on some real motherfuckers in my entire fucking life that I met you know what I'm saying big shout outs to Big Rick uh, if you got homeboys like Skinny P and Badger Consider yourself blessed. Consider yourself blessed. Because any motherfucker that was on the run from the cops nationwide and you had some homeboys, I'm telling you right now, they'll turn your ass in. Especially if they had a damn reward. And they ain't talking about millions of dollars. They'll turn your ass in for $500. Fuck, they'll turn your ass in for $100. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no fucking loyalty no more. No fucking friends. All right? Skinny P and Badger. I know this is a fucking TV show, but this shit is real. There are still real motherfuckers out there, but it's like a fucking needle in a haystack. Man, big shout outs to Skinny P and Badger, man. The realest motherfuckers in the Breaking Bad universe. And that's church, yo. Wow, so Jesse being his fucking hero. Motherfucking skinny Pete.
You mean tell me I'm gonna see this fucking Todd all over again? Don't tell me I'm gonna see Todd again. Don't tell me that. God. Oh fuck. Jesse. Oh fuck. Oh fuck me. Everything good? Hell no. Good. Man. You want a cigarette? I want you to fucking drop dead, bitch. I'm not putting myself out there as any kind of expert or whatnot, but I do think it's going to be a beautiful afternoon. And guess what? We're all alone. Yeah. Yeah, Uncle Jack took everybody down to Elephant Butte on account of he got this new Chaparral. It's pretty badass, but I told him I'm not really big into water skiing. Plus, somebody's got to take care of you. So, I, I hate to be all like, but we got to talk ground rules. Uh, if you try to, you know, escape, I'm going to have to visit the little boy. It would basically be out of my hands at that point. Man. Uncle Jack made you that promise, and he's going to want to stick to it. So, good behavior, right? He's still right. threatening baby Tuco. Gotta make sure you don't. You look at this attention. motherfucker. What the fuck? I'm gonna do a better job of keeping you clean from now on, okay? Promise. Did this son of a bitch just lick his and Like a pet dog or a pet fucking rabbit or whatever. I have no idea why in the fuck people like Todd. Look like Todd gained some weight in this bitch too. So, it's not actually that heavy, but uh, try as I might, I can't ever get this thing on by myself. What are you better at, going forwards or backwards? Okay, well, let's both go sideways for a while. Okay, sounds good. He could hit that motherfucker right now. I found this thing on Craigslist. I would have took my fucking chances. What Fuck that. that. You, I would have took my just, chances. Part of it. The drug I would have been you know, stuffing his ass in that car. Because you might move from there. You can't just be parked on the side of the road like that. God damn, God damn, God damn. So, okay, this shit, okay, flip flopping from how he know where the fuck to go and all that shit, okay. He's not supposed to be home at this hour. He really lucked out that he didn't see you. He's just always lurking around, being nosy. 
I mean, he was in Vietnam, which I totally respect, but still. You respect? You like my place. Todd is a straight fucking soccer fan. Yes. It's nice. He come out as a nice, yeah. good guy. That's still. And fucking Ted Bundy all in his fucking head. I, I he is straight Ted Bundy. Bags. Percy, is that why I'm here? You want me to help you paint? Maybe, yeah. Um, if we have some time left over. But first... Uh... Oh, shit. What? Jesus. Yeah, I hate that color, too. That's a fucked up color for a fucking picnic table in the kitchen. What the... Please don't, you know, make me feel worse than I already do. Who is this? Sonia, the cleaning lady, and honestly, I don't feel much like talking about it, so. He killed the cleaning lady? You wanna give me a hand, Jesse? He still got the goddamn belt on the goddamn neck. This motherfucker killed the goddamn cleaning lady with his belt and then put the belt back on. Now, answer this. All you people who love Todd and think he's a nice, sweet guy and Todd keep it real, Todd keep it real, he the only one keep it real, Todd be putting in that work. Would you let Todd babysit your kids? Huh? Would you let Todd around your cleaning lady? Huh? Would you let Todd visit your grandma? Huh? And take her a pudding? Would you let Todd take your grandma a pudding? Huh? It bog boggles my mind on how many motherfuckers is watching me. That's fucking nuts. For nosy looter to go bowling. I think he leaves in like an hour. You want some soup? You want soup? I got chicken noodle, chicken stars, cream and chicken. Bacon. One left, Jesse. This doing? motherfucker is certified oh. crazy. Oh, she didn't do anything to me. I don't want no goddamn soup. Why'd you kill that lady? Right there. That book you want to know so bad. So your cleaning lady was stealing your money? What? No. She was as honest as the day is long. Like George Washington honest. But she found it, and I can't have anybody finding it. She brought it straight in here to show me. She actually thought I didn't know it was there. I just... I, I wonder what the heck she was looking up. She barely spoke any English. And from Mexico, maybe? I don't know. Weird. Where are we gonna take her? Someplace pretty. She deserves that. Do me a favor and put that away, would you? 
So straight down the hall, all the way in the back, there's a whole shelf of them. Thanks. Sure you don't want any soup? No! God damn it! Oh, fuck, that's that boy spider. Is it dead? Huh? You mean tell me that motherfucker's still alive? I guess I better come up with a new hiding place for my money. They got these things called banks. <laughs> I'm glad Jesse strangled that fucker to death. God, I hate that stupid son of a fucking bitch. He looking for that money. I was wondering what the fuck he was looking for. Where that cop sucker hide the money at? The damn soup cans? What did that dumb fuck put in the goddamn soup cans? They still look the same. Please, come forward. Too many people have... For your sake, for everybody's sake. They were the most apple pie American family I ever seen on Breaking Bad. All American apple pie family. Then you got this sick fuck right here from the goddamn Twilight Zone. Oh my god, they finna toss this lady out the goddamn window. Don't tell me. Don't tell me they finna toss this lady. Where in the fuck are they? Goddamn Mars? Jupiter? Fucking planet they on. I'll take that shovel and go to fucking work on this goddamn fat head. Oh my God, I didn't know I was going to be touching with Todd. You find him? Oh. Now you see, I know he didn't shoot the motherfucker because he that, Jesse. choked him out when Walt came and saved him. And see, this shit pissing me off already. Because he should have filled his ass up with holes. He should have filled his motherfucking ass up with lead. He thinking about Baby Tuco. Baby Tuco don't lost his daddy. He don't lost his mama. And Jack will go kill Baby Tuco if this sick fuck don't show back up. Oh, 
Oh, this fuck, boy. This fuck. Look at that view. This motherfucker. Should be a heck of a sunset. Ah, uh, what place did he didn't check it? Think like a crazy motherfucker, Jesse. If you was a psychopath and a sociopath mixed together, where would you hide some money? Think. Where would Ted Bundy hide his money at? Think. Hot damn. Hot damn. Hot damn. Some motherfucking cops. Some motherfucking cops. Nosy, nosy Mr. fucking neighbor. Mr. You really search it. Sir, what can we do for you? Well, I'm Louis Shancer. I live across the hall down in Unit 11. I talked to you guys yesterday. I got a card from one of your sergeants. You got Karen, you know I'm and you got a kid. You need any That's the motherfucking king. Okay. Call the cops. Right now. There's a Karen act. Heard about that? Hello, how are you this evening? Um, there is a gentleman walking around my apartment complex. And he's taking photos of people's houses, and I just went up and asked him. I was not. Was I was going. not taking anyone's photos. And he he got very standoffish, and won't answer me. Or refuses to answer my questions. Great. See, I knew the decedent pretty well. Never really trusted him. They just as worse as Karen. I kind of saw this thing coming. You weren't to a fucking kid. Exactly kind of. Just walk away. Kid, take your ass back and goddamn watch Andy Griffith. Okay. Or Matlock or whatever the fuck you watch. Start here. You start in the back. Let's meet in the middle. Neil, they tossed the shit out of this place. What's left to find? Go These some fucking crooked cops. You mean tell me this motherfucker still alive? You know the guy. Dude's got a tarantula. And you his fucking cousin, bitch. Looking like Opie Teller. <laughs> Opie Cunningham. Yeah, more crazy in this house. Perfectly normal. Where's the funds, bitch? You'll be cool. And I will be cool. Understand? Shit just got real. God damn, he's a lieutenant. Lieutenant? It's waiting for me back there, Casey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Put your gun down! Relax, relax. Well, put your gun down! Relax. Show me your hand! Everybody, relax. He says he's not looking to kill any cops. So let's just, let's figure this out, all right? Let's, we're gonna figure this out. What are you doing here, Pinkman? There's something I need. 
As soon as I get it, I am gone. You let me out of here. I swear I will not hurt this guy. What's this thing you need? Seriously, throw your gun in here and show me your hands! Seriously, no. You point yours at me, I point mine at you. That's how this works. What's this thing you need? I don't want to shoot any cops. You don't want to shoot any cops. Great, fantastic. You know how many officers we got downstairs? There's only one choice here, buddy. And you know what it is. Come on. Nobody wants to hurt you. Give up, Pinkman. It's your only chance. They don't have handcuffs? Hey, how about some handcuffs, yo? Ah! Ah! Are they even doing? cops? They're not even cops. You two are cops. You... Ah! Ah! Fuck! Ah! Get his legs. Find me something to gag him with. Jesus! I know where the money is. <sighs> they go, kid. They go, fucking kid. I just went up and asked him. I was not. Was I was going. not taking anyone's photos. And he, he got very standoffish and won't answer me or refuses to answer my questions. Detectives, everything okay? <laughs> this nosy motherfucker. Did you bring Karen with you? Sorry about that, sir. We're uh, dusting for fingerprints. You know, it's a delicate process. I thought your CSI boys did that. Didn't they get them all yesterday? Yeah, well, uh, you know, sometimes you want something done right. Oh, God, tell me about it. My line was restaurant and hospital. This motherfucker so is super it. goddamn hey, nosy. And now, now, Friday, baby. And now, now, put on, And now, now, put on, And now, now, In the pool, I'm swimming for about an hour. I 
pepper picked a whole bunch of peppers anyway i just came in this thing trying to be so clever anyway bunch of lames in this game and they ain't on my level anyway i'm about to cut off they lights when i pull this lever where i'm from it's either you tuck a gun you finish the fight or run and every rapper's a done but whatever all i know is continue to grind continue to push like be stressing i pretend that i'm fine it ain't fine dog. it's like a whole bunch of business whole bunch of focus like my partners gotta get it they say that you can't do it they don't know there ain't no limit every hour every minute i be on it gotta get it man